It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known! You're no match for the likes of me! <laughs> That's rich! I used to beat up geeks like you in high school! I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included! Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, I mean, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class! <laughs> I always hated biology. That's right. You were that freak with the headgear. Remember how I used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid off. I was always big for my age. You were 26. Say, how about a wedgie for old time's sake? Quack! I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over, for in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Episode 4, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. Oh, Lance, it's time you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But, Janus, I am Engelbert. Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Guten Tag, Captain Flabby. Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt. You have plumped up like a giant green bratwurst! <laughs> it is time for the fitness course! Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis... The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart. Bring me the head of Captain Quark! <laughs> Quark! <coughs> I'll get you for this. Sorry? What's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear, I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. Quark! And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But... Uh, seems the script is missing a few pages. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as... Uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. This is the true story that Captain Quark hoped you would never see. The unauthorized, uncensored, and utterly unbelievable missing chapter of the Quark comic series. Pure discretion is advised. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But he was dead wrong. Bottoms up. Somebody say something? <laughs> what took you so long? I was picking out some new curtains for the torture chamber. They're crushed velvet with a gold lame trim. Oh, I think they really add life to the space. Never mind that now. Grab Quark and let's get out of here. Of course, sir. Oh, Quark. I've never met a man like you. After you, I'll be ruined for other men. That's what they all say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ah, where am I? You're in my secret prison, awaiting the most ingenious and depraved punishment I can possibly imagine. Come, Lawrence. It's time for my massage. Oh, goody. Using his antenna as a lockpick, Quark eventually managed to open the door to his cell. Almost got it. Ha <laughs> ha!
but his escape did not go unnoticed. Uh-oh. After his narrow escape from the clutches of Dr. Nefarious, Quark dropped out of the public eye. Truth is, Quark was holed up in his secret hideout on the Thran asteroid, terrified that Dr. Nefarious would make good on his promise of revenge. When Nefarious didn't resurface, Quark assumed he was gone forever and returned to his career as a high-profile celebrity superhero. But the galaxy had not seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Ouch! What do you think you're doing, you oaf? Do hold still, sir. This is a very delicate procedure. There, that should do the trick. Go ahead, take her for a spin. What's going on? Where are my arms? Whose butt is this? Oh, my mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Laura! Oh, Janice. Oh, Lance. Oh, my. We will have to get that fixed. <laughs> One of these days.